sorry for the interruption. Maya just crashed it while I, it was importing the guide. So I'm just going to do it again. This is not related to MGear. Probably was something in memory that didn't like it. But I'm just going to come here and import my guide again. So just um, custom steps, data, guide. So it's just a few seconds. And here's the guide. Now I'm just going to build from selection. So just same gear, shifter, build from selection. Obviously, I have my, my guide selected. So it's just going to take a few seconds also to build this one. So it's going to import the geometry, build all the, the rig. Now it's going to add after all the post custom steps. You can see here it's running all the post custom steps, blend the joints, change the parenting. Now it's important the skin that it's the longest process and now imported all the corrective line shapes. So that's it. We have our rig ready to, to be used. So I'm just going to delete the guide and a few last things here. Probably you want to add a custom step or on the repairing one that, that repairs this under the geo root. Maybe you want to change this selection or something so it's not selectable. And also here on the rig top node, you have this option to set the visibility of the joints on off. You want to set a little custom step or in one of the existing ones, something that will change this selection. So I'm just going to create this and maybe just put this unselectable with a hotkey. So here's the, the rig and it worked perfectly. We can do the same instead of importing the guide, just coming here and from shifter build from the template so it's not going to import the guide it's just going to build this result and let's check how it looks so i'm just gonna open studio library here and apply one of the animations that i have i have this one from the previous video that is going to be included on this one also so i'm just double clicking here be careful if it has a name space or something that maybe you should delete it here Okay, so now the character is here, and if I play this, it's going to be dancing. Just maybe the animation is a bit longer, so I'm just going to stretch timeline here. And if we go frame by frame, if we check this, just let me frame it a little better. I'm just going to hide the um, controls. You can see the deformation is much better than the one that we had before on the previous tutorial so here it's um when you raise the arm you can see it's very nice and you always can come here and take your brain shape envelope and just turn it off so you can see how much improve it in all the parts Okay, so that's it for this uh, video tutorial. I have one extra video for you that it's about resources and where to ask for help. But that's all for this video tutorial. I hope you find it useful and you apply this knowledge and expand it on it on your future rigs. Thank you for listening and see you in the next of future tutorials. Bye bye.